Hello. In today's video, I will show you how to create a plane frame structure into Midas NFX and how analyze it using FEM methods and beam elements. So first, uh, let's go into the software. So this is the interface of Midas NFX and I will show you into the analysis mode how to create this frame structure. So click first on the new icons and here select 2D and for the unit system Newton meter kilogram second and click on, on OK. F first thing you have to do is to set up the grid. So click on define grid, enter 0 0.1 0 .1 for the whites. Um, use 60 for the user defined for the grid value and click on normal view okay now we will just uh, zoom out and create a simple uh, line so click on the origin and directly by selecting on the screen we will create a 3 meter beam right click with the mouse and close the polyline window now we have one line and I will translate it to create two other beams. So select the direction. Here it's the X axis. Uh, select non uniform copy. And for the distance, you have to enter first 5 meter and then minus 10 meter. So it will first copy uh, at 5 meter coordinates and then in minus 10. Click on OK. First you can click on Preview and you see the two beams that will be created. Click on OK and you have your three beams. Now we will link these three beams together using the polyline command. So just have to click on each extremity of the beam. OK and now right click with the mouse and click on Cancel. Now we have the geometric shape of our plane structure we have now to create the elements. For that, click on Mesh tab. You have, click on 1D to generate the 1D beam. So for these three beams, we will only create one element. So select one division. Select these three elements. And it is very important to define the reference vector for these elements. So for that, uh, you have several options here. We will select this direction and click on OK. Now for this beam, you have to create a property for the section of the beam. So click on the small icon here and you have three types of properties, road, bar, pipe, select a bar element and uh, activate the section we will select I profile and enter the values 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 and 0 0.01 0 0.01 and finally uh, 0 0.015 sorry for the second one enter 0.1 0 0.5 okay now you get your profile here in the small window click on OK um, let's give a name to this property call it uh, we will call it just uh, column Okay, click on OK. Now it is assigned here and click on Apply. Now we have our three beams. We will now create the two um, horizontal beams. So we will again select these two elements. Select, uh, we will divide each element in four. So enter four divisions. 
for the orientation uh, select again and we will take the reference node which is at the origin click on OK and we will create a new property so we cancel enter 2 and click on this bar enter the name beam um, we'll give a new section again I section with uh, some other characteristic this time 0 0.45 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.009 0 0.014 and the same 0 0.014 ok click on ok ok again click on preview seems ok you see the division ok now we have our beams you can hide uh, all guiders in order to see better the profile um, and we will see the mesh uh, and the nodes in order to view it better you can right click here in the walk tree and display the nodes so it will be a little more clearer and the thing is that in Midas NFX you can also view the section of your beam so like that you can view it in 3D now you see which section is assigned to which beam and if you want to view the orientation you have um, here show hide element CSS and show hide material CSS so click on here and you will be able to view the orientation of each beam so I remind you this is the orientation of the beam is very important for the analysis if you don't have the right orientation you may not find the, the right results now we have to constrain all this so click on static constraint and uh, we will constrain first these three nodes one two and three into yes let's activate again the global uh, coordinates tx ty and rotation on that z axis apply okay and the last thing we have to do is to uh, again constraint constraint all the nodes into the tz direction or it will not be a, it will not be a planar problem it will be 3d so we just constraint all that you see now now we have to assign some loads and boundary condition to this model for that uh, you can go into here you have the beam load so this beam load is uh, special for the beams select these four elements and force distributed uh, in the global y direction and now we will enter zero so this is the position where uh, the beam load will begin and it will end at 1 so at the end of uh, the element you selected and this is the coefficient associated with this load so you can view preview it will give you something like that now I want a continuous load so I will not select element I will select edge and like that you can select directly one edge and you see uh, it's better so just click on OK now we will assign a force to the middle of this beam so select this node and uh, we will apply the force into uh, minus y direction minus 10 Newton apply 
and we will assign three forces to these three points into the x direction 5 newton now you have your model your beams the profile is assigned with the section uh, orientation seems good and the constraints the loads uh, everything so you just have to create your analysis so go into analysis and results click on general and just create a new static analysis so you, you can give it a name okay click on ok and run okay now it's solved so this is the result for uh, the displacement so there's uh, auto scale 1 so if you see the real scale uh, you don't see really the displacement and you can view also the section so it's better to understand and you can view also the animation to see how it's taking place the deformation now uh, we are interested also to know uh, the stress, the bending so for that you have a few options here, the actual force so here uh, the bending moment in Z direction so around the Z axis I mean if you want to add more results you can insert some analysis results and you see you can insert some stress results like the bar stress maximum uh, stress like that which is equal you can change the unit to see better maybe uh, yes it was okay and to take the values you can use the prop tool to uh, view the values of the stress at uh, any node of your model like that okay it's all for this tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching and to have more information on Midas NFX you can go on her website www.midasnfx.com